devotionals, teaching truth, and transforming lives. Thank you for tuning in. The devotional for today is from Numbers chapter 11, with a message titled, Serving Single-Handedly? I can't do it anymore! These people are driving me crazy! How am I supposed to love and care for people that act like this? Sometimes serving God's people seems like an impossible task. In Numbers 11, Moses has a classic church worker meltdown. Overwhelmed with the people's complaints and demands, he brings his frustration to the Lord. Sound familiar? It comforts me to know that the great prophet Moses, the servant who spoke directly with God and witnessed such incredible miracles, had days of stress and distress just like we do. Caring for God's people is a lot of work. It's rarely easy. Sometimes we get so busy caring and helping others that we fail to let others help and care for us. God didn't require Moses to carry the burden all alone. He opened Moses' eyes to others in the body of believers who could help. And he showed Moses how to allow others to share the burden. God doesn't require you to serve alone either. He has connected you to others who can support you, serving alongside you. Do you let them? It wasn't until I faced a set of overwhelming tasks in my youth programming that I finally found myself recruiting a team of volunteers. It meant giving up some control, but I gained so much more joy. If we insist on serving alone, whether from pride or from perfectionism or from some other sin, we deny others the blessings of serving. We deny ourselves the comfort of seeing Jesus at work through his body. How thankful we can be that Jesus died for all our sins, even those we commit as we serve him. And how thankful we can be that he hasn't left us alone. Thank him today for those who surround you, who serve as his hands to comfort and relieve you. Join me in prayer. Lord Jesus, Forgive me for my failures to ask for help and support. Send just the right people to help. In your name, amen.